Hey, Daryl. Hey, Tony. I gotta Darryl. tell you, hey, Elizabeth. we were packed this weekend. I'm tired. I mean, we really? had thousands of people that came through these houses. And how many houses did we have? 27? 27 homes on tour. Wow. I mean, we. I, I heard they were packed out at River Hollow. No I heard Magnolia Meadows in Siena was constant the entire weekend. Oh it was just people after people after people. It was so great. Yeah, okay, we just said that on that We went through there. 16 bags and it's wow. eating about 14 of them. Everyone loves these samples. I gotta go put them all back you Got now. some cleaning to do. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Thousands of people, you gotta we clean. We gotta clean. Display is over in the house. Leftover water? Left, that's all. Left. That's all. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, we gotta reorder that too. Okay. Girl, we use so many sides, I had to go grab one of the old ones out of the vault. Where do you want these? Hey, those can go in the garage. Oh, okay. Yep. And I have yep. one ice scraper left over. It's all, all left. Everybody's getting ready to win. How'd they end it? Well, I guess we better go put our stuff away too because we have that meeting to go over everything that happened over the weekend. And her phone's ringing. Her, okay. It's going crazy. Yes, it Lonnie, I'm exhausted. <laughs> you look tired. I had, I had over 700 people come through our model homes during this tour last we, weekend. We have never had traffic like that. And I was just southwest. Did you run out of materials? I had like three pamphlets left over. I had cars parked up and down Hamilton Road. It was crazy. Never seen anything like that. Izzy, how was your weekend? It was wonderful. We had so many people coming through our houses on the north side as well. I had a lot of people really interested that we sell so many homes over $500,000 a year. Yeah, we do. we do. I had a lot of comments about floor plans. People didn't realize we can build anything. So they can have their own plan or we can design it for them or pick from one of our 150 plans and start from that. You're right. You're right. People are also amazed that under a special financing under the USDA program, you can build a $180,000 house for a payment of about 700 bucks. Oh, You're right. Wow. You're yeah. right. Yeah. You know, I had a lot of people surprised with 27 homes, they could see the amount of selections and the wide variety of options that they have. They couldn't believe all the selections that are available to them. Decorating. Yeah. yeah. And people were thrilled to find out that we'll actually take the time and meet them out on either a subdivision lot or out in the country and walk that property and find what's going to be best for that house. Even in the rain. Yeah, even in the rain. Well, hey, welcome to Between the Studs. I'm Lonnie Norris, and this is part of the Granite Ridge building team, including Tony Ranke, our president. We build custom homes on your lot or one of ours in northern Indiana also Northwest Ohio and parts of Southern Michigan. And we are just coming off of this incredible weekend, probably the biggest weekend in our oh, history. It was, it was an extravaganza, was 27 custom homes, and we got a lot of follow-up and a lot of questions to address. Lonnie, this is you talk, exciting. You talk about questions. The question I got asked the most was after seeing all these beautiful homes, how do they get started? What do they do to build a new That's home a with question. us? Yeah. yeah. We find that we tell people that you can go find us on the website. You can message us there. I tell people to email me, text me. I use all kinds of technology to keep communication with people. Or they can just call our office. We would love to get your phone call and we'll have someone talk to you and get in touch with you and help you get started. Right. right. Yeah, guys, at the end of every show, I talk about coming in the front door to meet us. The reason we want you to come in is to see this amazing 15,000 square foot showroom where you can see every part and piece that goes into one of your custom homes. We've got a half a house that shows the construction process. We've got three or four gourmet kitchens so you can see different backsplashes, different cabinetry. We've got a flooring room that puts other, other stores to shame. We've got tile, we've got laminates, we've got everything to see. We've got an exterior room with stone, bricks, shake. There's really no reason that you shouldn't come in and we can show you all these amazing options and build a new home. I've got an idea. We're going to talk a little bit about why it is so easy to build a custom home today. Yeah. Why don't we start though, let's show our audience just a little sampling of what they might see in this 15,000 square foot studio before we show the three or four easy steps to build a new home. Sounds great. So let's get started. Yeah, let's go. Hands are full. And pick let's your go. favorite. Right, right, I got I got the door. Right. Okay. Okay, then we can do flooring. Yeah. All right. 15,000 square feet. 15,000 square feet. Who doesn't love Daryl? <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> 
JR, one of my favorite parts of the job is to be able to give a tour of our showroom. It really is one of my favorite things to be able to show people all that we have to offer and educate them on their choices. Yeah, one of the biggest talking points is easily the master bath options, and we've got a ton of them to choose from here at Granite Ridge Builders. Of course, our most popular lately has still been our walk-in tile showers. They're absolutely gorgeous, and we've got one right here to show. Yeah, what's also coming back is soaking tubs. We got away from garden tubs for a while, but now we've got freestanding tubs that we can show kind of fiberglass. They're not as big and bulky as those claw foot cast iron tubs. And so in here, again, we've got all kinds of options to show you just here in the showroom. JR, what do you got over there? Yeah, one of my favorite things has to be faucets. So from Delta, we've got a couple of touchless faucets options. We've also got some that'll show digital re temperature as well. Yeah, I didn't even know that they did those in bathrooms. Yeah, you can do them almost everywhere. Then of course, the, another great part is the shower head itself. We've got lots of different kinds from the rain showers to the standard showers. And then we've even got one here where you can actually take it right out and use it as a handheld and still have it as a regular shower head. Easily one of my favorites. And we've got six operating shower heads we can show right over here, right Izzy? Test them out. At least work, I don't wanna jump, hey, hey! <laughs> Hey Lonnie, one of the favorite things of most clients when they come in here is specifically the kitchens and the cabinetry. You're right, Dave. We have six full kitchens under this roof, profiling such things as the countertops, the wood species, and also the styles and the fixtures. As far as the wood species go, we have hickory, we have alder wood in here, plus a couple other examples of various woods that you, the individual can Maples get. and a lot of those ones that we paint. And by the way, we got some new paint colors, don't we, to show? Oh, I love this yellow one. This and perfect. I like that one. I don't know what my wife would say, but I really like that one when it comes to wood. Not only that, what about the countertops also? Oh, we've got granite tops. Now we've got all kinds of options when it comes to granite. There's solid surface options. There's quartz options and also high definition. Laminate is another option. Not only that, how about the sinks? Oh man, people are really concerned about the sinks. We've got all kinds of options to look at here, the stainless steel, the composite granite, you name it, it's here. You talk about granite. One of my favorites about the granite is that Ubi Tubi. I don't know about that, Dave. We've got a lot of different granite options and you need to be careful how you say that. I'll work on that. All right. Then. Okay, Tony, we're ready for our segment. Tony, you ready? Oh, there you go. Okay. Hey, Tony, we get to talk about one of our fun parts of the showroom tour, and that is trimscaping. It's doors, it's trim, it's around the windows, it's everywhere in the house. So it's what really can make your house stand out. And we've added a really, really large section to our showroom, and it's all about this trimscaping. It's also about ceilingscaping, too. So we encourage every one of you to come in. We are more than happy to show you these side by side. You can decide which one's your best. A lot of people are nervous about building or they're nervous about their home because they don't know how to put it all together. They don't even think about how the trim can actually affect the house. That's why we have a full staff of some of the most amazing designers who can help walk you through the process and can show you that just this little bit of difference in trim around the doors or around the header of the door can make a world of difference and it all starts by just taking that easy step and walking through our front door. Yeah, so remember the one word is trimscaping and you have to stop out and see us. Now you say this orange one is really popular. Orange door, look at look at that. I'm not sure that is really Put it popular. on a pantry, just okay. a pantry. What about that blue one? Let's do a look at the blue one. Okay. So Elizabeth, a lot of our clients, as they go through these brochures, they go through our models, they still don't find the home that's exactly right for them. How do we help those types of clients? Well, we have a great solution here at Granite Ridge Builders. We have four full-time architectural drafts people. So they can take the ideas that someone has and put them on paper and really start with their own vision. Yeah, a lot of the homes that you see have anywhere from seven to 12 or 13 different rooms. So those, those architectural draftsmen are gonna help move those puzzle pieces around so that it's a perfect fit for our, for our buyers. And everybody has their own types of needs so it could be outdoor living that is really really important to you for your lot yeah there's some other rooms that have popped up in, in past episodes we've done some snoring rooms which was a popular one that was a fun one a children's retreat is popular yeah a lot of folks are doing pocket offices because folks are working from home more and more and then we're seeing garages those are really actually becoming big yeah so we've also done some oversized pantries those rooms are getting as big as bedrooms now Hey, I have some ideas for outdoor living. Let's go talk to the drafts people. Yeah, can we do something like we did at 122 Chapman's? That was beautiful, that covered sure. veranda. Let's ask them, hopefully the roof line will work. Yeah, I always want to include a nice outdoor fireplace too. Yeah. Isn't it 
great, the new colors that they came out with. I like with. those. Mm. Pretty. Yeah. Well, when people build, they're so excited about picking things out in all of the selections, and they're really surprised at how much we have to choose from. There's so much to choose from, and there's so many different items to choose, but that's why we have five designers here to help each one of our clients with all the selections they need for their house. And I know you really make it easy because you have a process that you walk through when it comes to the selections. A lot of times you're going to start with the outside and work your way in, and it goes really smoothly for the customer because sometimes it is a little overwhelming. It is and what's great is we already kind of have a budget in place and so we'll guide the customer to exactly what's going to fit in with their budget but if they like something different we at least have the options as well. So typically we'll start with the stone or brick and the siding. You know the great thing too about how many houses we've built thousands of houses and we have pictures of almost every single one of them. We also have the addresses so a lot of times you'll see people driving around just to look at the different colors on the house in person. You know after the siding and, and the stone typically we'll go to shake color colors, shutter colors if they have it. The trim color is really important. There's so many different colors of white trim. You have um, bright white or creamy white. You have window color. You know, some people like to do an accenting window color and do something dark or match their trim and do a white. What an advantage to have five selection coordinators here in our office to guide you through the process. And again, we have everything here. So you're not running all over town. It's right here. Even if you're building and you want to pop in and see, you know, I don't remember what siding I picked out. We We've got it here and you can take a look. We have that and if we don't have it here in a sample, we have catalogs for your front doors, your garage doors. Everything that we need to pick is all right here and that's what we're here for. Now let's go take a look at what we're going to pick on the inside. We've kind of touched on the outside. We have a little bit more to discuss about what's to go on in the inside. Okay. So after we talk about the exterior of the house, we'll come into our flooring room here and talk about all the components on the interior of a house. We'll probably spend the most amount of time in this room here. So a lot of those things that you're looking at are your paint colors, your cabinets, and seeing it all laid out here, it looks pretty easy. This is a great example of an interior of our home. Exactly. Now, some things that people might not realize that we have to select, you know, these are some of the obvious things, the cabinets and the flooring and the paint, but we also have to talk about things like cabinet hardware, doorknobs, and trim work profiles, where you want all of those things. So it may sound a little overwhelming, but that's why there are designers here to help step by step what's going to work for you, and we can really help narrow down what's best for your case. And one of the great things about a brand new home is you're starting from scratch, so you're not really working working around something that's already there, trying to match or blend with something that's existing in your home. You're starting with a clean palette, and that really makes it a lot easier for most people. You know, the great thing about the designers here is we work really well with pictures. So we're gonna have a lot of picture examples of homes we've done, or if you bring in an idea that you found, that we can usually do our best to match with all of these options you see here. Let's go look at hardware for this one. Okay, that would be great. I think we could probably do something like this is the part of the showroom that I love to show people because it's in an area that everyone comes to and they're like, you have more. This showroom just keeps going and this is where we go to. It's our lighting center. It's great to show people how far lighting has really come. And really lighting is the jewelry of the home and you can really put some personality with your lighting. You can and besides personality, we can really start to talk about budget saving options in the lighting area by going to LED bulbs. It might cost more up front, but over the long period of time, it'll save you money and that's a great talking point to come to this room. Now, JR, we've spent a lot of time talking about our showroom, but what I want to spend a little bit of time is once they pick out all those selections, how does that process work from there to the closing when they hand the keys to them? Yeah, so obviously we've got to build and construct the home on their job site. So we've done a lot of episodes here between the studs walking you through those those steps of the process of construction. Yeah, some of the, those were some of my favorite shows because yeah. it got you guys out onto the job sites. Yeah. Now we started with you know the lot and concrete mm -hmm. and we kind of worked our way up. We did a show on framing. Mm -hmm. We talked about all the different framing members. Yeah, then we transitioned into insulation, how we're going to keep that home nice and tight. We've talked about the drywall phase, so that, that's when the home really starts to take shape. Yep. We did a whole episode on trim work and how the doors get made and how they get set. I really enjoyed that one. I think my favorite one though was the fun finishing touches where we're showing that home really coming together and people can personalize it and make it their own. Yeah, now we got experts in every one of those process steps. Now we got lighting experts, mm -hmm. we got septic experts. So really we got a team here that we've developed that will 
take you all the way through that process very seamlessly. And again, they're experts in, in that specific field. Yeah, you talk about experts. I mean, we build on average 300 to 350 homes a year and been in business since 2001. Our guys have seen everything that you can see on a job site and we know how to make the perfect home for you. Now, if some of our viewers at home want to see some of those episodes we talked about, how can they access those? Yeah, they can go to our website, www.graniteridgebuilders.com. They can also see us on Vimeo. They can check us out on YouTube. I always tell people, just come in, meet us in person. We'd love to show you these items face to face and walk you through that process. Hi, I'm Cindy Ward. And I'm Carl Ward. We're builders reps for Granite Ridge Builders. I've been involved with the villas for about six years now. I always say I did villas before they were villas because I started out in the late 80s doing villas uh, Autumn Ridge, Cherry Hill, Chestnut Hills has evolved in the sales, Westchester Glens, Kensington Downs. So they really evolved into a product that we're doing right now. Everyone always thinks that we make a great team, especially for the villa buyer. We each have our strength. Carl knows the lots, he knows construction. My interest is really in interior design and the design of your floor plan. So between the two of us, we make a great team. Uh, I'm an ex-builder and like Cindy was saying, um, I know the inner workings of what we do build, whether it's base plates, sidewall construction, eye joist, and it just goes on and on. So between the two of us, her background is in decorating, and she hates it when I say this, but between the two of us, we have 84 years experience in this business. Between the two of us, Carl and I have probably helped over 1,200 families move into new homes. If someone wants to work with Cindy and I, we have open houses every Sunday, one to four, Northwest and Southwest, but we would actually rather that you give us a call on our cell phone, 260-312-5438, it's mine. Mine is 260-341-3402. Please feel free to call anytime. Izzy, when we're talking about the process of getting everything started with your new home, one of the key components is finance. It is, and financing is something that some people might not understand how good we have it right now. Interest rates right now are at a historical low. They're roughly 3.5%. Back in the late 70s, early 80s, it was almost 18.5% interest rate. If you look at the chart up here, you'll see where we're at right now in comparison to the years past. And so again, historically, we need to understand how great the interest rates really are currently. And what kind of difference does that make if the payment, if that interest rates moves at all? The interesting thing about this is, is right now, we're, like I said, we're roughly 3.5%. If it goes up to 4.5%, that is a $115 difference in your mortgage payment on a $200,000 house. Yeah, that's about $25,000 worth of value. And we know $25,000, that's a complete basement for an average home. It is. And economists say that really an interest rate should be about 5.5%, mm -hmm. which is a 2% higher. That's the difference of $39,000 worth of house. So that's what, basement plus? Uh, basement plus ceramic shower plus the third bay garage. And that's if it just goes up to roughly five and a half percent. So again, we don't have a crystal ball or anything here, but really we I really want to encourage people to consider the historic load that we're really at and try to ask yourself, why haven't you given yourself a shot? Why haven't you just come into our showroom and start to find out about your options? You know, the big thing is the fear of the unknown. A lot of people mm -hmm. are just afraid to come in and find out where they're at. But if you keep waiting, those interest rates are just gonna keep going up. Mm -hmm. Best thing to do is come in, talk to us. We'll talk to you about FHA, VA, conventional, USDA loans, and we'll get you in touch with the mortgage professionals who will actually show you which is the best way to go for you. Lonnie, we just heard a lot of information about the financing programs. One of the programs that uh, Tony and Izzy did not talk about, though, is the USDA 502 program, which I had alluded to earlier in the program. Right. You're talking about payments under $700 in some cases for a brand new three-bedroom or four-bedroom home. And you've been doing the USDA program for a number of years, if I remember. I've been working with it since the 1970s. Part of that, my grandma took advantage of it in the 60s. We used to call it Farmer's Home Administration. But we're talking about an opportunity to buy a home in a qualified area, which is basically a rural area four or five miles outside the city limits of Fort Wayne in places like Huntertown or Southwest Allen County, or Grable, for example. So we have a lot of lots, not only just in the Allen County area, we also go up to the Goshen, Elkhart area, Ligonier, all those areas also. Right, again, we're talking about no down payment, 
Minimal closing costs under $2,000 and monthly payments from the 650 range up to about $800 or $900 a month. And Lonnie, what kind of homes can our clients get for this program? Dave, there's a lot of options. We're talking about three bedroom, two bath ranches, or even four bedroom ranches. Or how about a two story on even a basement is a possibility under this program. We're talking about three car garages. We're talking about open concepts with custom cabinets and appliances. Lots and lots of options when it comes to this particular program. Sounds like the clients can get a lot of nice home for a very cheap payment. It's a great way to buy a new custom home. I'm out here at our Innervation home, located at 7467 Flutter Road. We've shown you this home before on previous episodes of Between the Studs, but it's really a home you need to come out and experience for yourself. Stop by on Sundays from 1 to 4 so I can show you and demonstrate all the wonderful technology, the energy efficiencies, and all of the amazing design elements that we've incorporated into this home. The home is newly listed for just under $900,000. Come out and see me on Sundays. We're located right next to River Hollow, which is one of our exclusive communities offering features like carriage barns, one acre parcels, and all public utilities like public water, sewer, and natural gas. Lot prices start from $59.9 and range up to $69.9. Come and see me Sunday from 1 to 4 or call me at the number below. I'd love to meet you out here so you can see this amazing home. One of Granite Ridge's newest additions is Canyon Bay, located on the north side of town just north of Gump Road in Northwest Allen School District. Canyon Bay is known for being a very quiet addition with lots of wooded lots and pond lots. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit out of the way and still in a great school district, Canyon Bay is one that you definitely need to check us out. You know, Lonnie, we're talking today about some of the three or four really key components to get started in building a custom home, and one of them is finding the right location. The location is so important. You know, we mentioned that Granite Ridge controls our own 600 building sites, and we also build a lot of homes, about 50 of them in the country, which involve wells and septics and driveways, and we're here to help you make that process easy and to help you through it. Yeah, I think Luke's got one of our really uh, important tools to walk in the lot. Luke, what do you got going on here? Yeah, this is my favorite tool. This is a must-have. Anytime I'm going out, your eyes can deceive you. Uh, this takes your, the human element out of it. It extends a laser across the plane. So if you set this up, even with like the street curb, then you can see how much topography that lot has. So when we walk a lot, we really need what we call, what do you call this? Uh, I, we just call it a laser. A laser, okay. Yep, and then that'll allow me to tell me if I can get a walk out on it, maybe a daylight. Uh, sometimes we build up on lakes. There's a certain elevation that you have to be above in order to get above that floodplain. That'll tell me how much I might have to build the lot up. So this tells me a lot of information. It's an easy tool to use, but it is invaluable. Yeah, this will really help our drafts person later on in designing that home custom to the lot that they choose. Yeah, it'll tell us maybe we need a retaining wall. Lot sounds like a very important tool yep. when it comes to planning a home on a custom site. Yes. Yeah, Lonnie, we take walking lots really seriously. A lot of our sales staff have almost a survival kit for walking lots, and everybody's got some of their favorite tools of the trade. Yeah, in fact, I'd like to go show you one of my favorite tools. Let's go check it out. All right, I'm, I'm gonna help Luke right here. You know, I think it's really important to have some rubber boots. I don't want to mess up my nice shoes, and all these wooded lots can get so buggy, I always keep my bug spray there. Now, Kayla, I can one-up you on fashion. Obviously, fashion is very important, but you also need to have fashion with function, and you need a flannel shirt, that's what Lonnie told me, jeans, okay. and also a better pair of boots, plus you need some gloves. When you're in those woods, you're gonna definitely Gloves is a good idea. I'm gonna take my rubber boots, because I don't think- And you wanna remember a flashlight, it gets dark so early, and a tape measure. You're gonna wanna measure things off. I really like having the cones out there too. You can spot a corner, or you can even do front door, back door. Bring some spray paint so you can actually go back and remember what you've showed. Mm -hmm. I like to sit out and look at the lot itself, have, take a chair with me so people can actually see what it's gonna look like in the future. Not only that, I never know what I'm gonna come across, so my mom always told me, have some Band-Aids on hand. I like a sickle. You never know what you're gonna run into out there. Take a look at those weeds back there. I'm gonna take care of those right now. You know, one thing that I think is extremely important when you're walking a lot is actually a ladder because you're going to want to get what your real view is going to be, so you need to actually elevate yourself a couple feet into the air, and this will really show you what your view will be. We will walk your lot rain or shine, so taking an umbrella out there is always a key tool to have. You know what, guys? This is probably the best tool in the world. This is called my magical frame. This will actually frame what your view is on that particular lot. You can do this on a subdivision lot, you can do it on a wooded lot, especially a lake lot. The magic granite ridge frame. You know, 
Now, I really think a flashlight is important, especially again, these wooded lots. You want to be able to see where you're going. And we're out there for a pretty long time. I always have my water handy. The camera is really important. You want to take some pictures of your lot. It's great for reference. So have a camera or your phone handy. Not just the camera, but having the GRB2 out there, the drone is amazing. You can see really all the lot. You can really envision the home sitting mm -hmm. on that parcel. Another key thing is when you finally are ready to uh, buy that house and we're going to put a sign out, I got the hammer ready for that to put that sign in the ground. And then there's the fishing pole. A lot of our lots have lakes on them or ponds and we need to find out if they're stocked or not. And then of course there's there's some of this and well enough said, you know what I'm talking about. Bonnie, what are you doing? You can't okay, go fishing. Well, one big thing is, is once you find your perfect lot, we have to be able to celebrate at the end of it all. So it's a very easy process for us to go through this. Just give us a call and let us help you walk some lots. Hi, I'm Marshall Anderson, new home consultant here at Granite Ridge Builders. And I'd like to talk with you today about our development on Flutter Road known as River Hollow which has lots available to fit a lot of different needs. We have people who are wanting a lot of flexibility, and in this area we have oversized lots, the freedom to include an outbuilding if you would like, lots and lots of things that are at your discretion, and prices range between 57.9 and 68.9, which leaves lots of room to build that home of your dreams. River Hollow is easy to get to. We're located right on Flutter Road between Maple Crest and Wheel Lock. If you would like to walk a lot at River Hollow and see what's available, I'd be glad to meet you there. If you'd like to get a hold of me, you can reach me on my cell phone anytime, 260-498-9006. Well, hopefully you understand from today's show that building a custom home, those many steps are fun and exciting and enjoyable. We talked about plans, we talked about decorating, we talked about finance, the lot, the importance of the lot, lots of things. And of course, the final process or step is the actual closing. And these two ladies are there to help you make that enjoyable as well. Daryl and Jill. Jill, you've been closing loans for how long? Uh, roughly 20 years. I thought she was 22 years old. Tell us what's involved in the closing. Well, um, we sometimes close here at the at our office. We will close at Title Company. Looks like lots of paperwork. There is a lot of paperwork, and it takes it. about okay. an hour for about them an to hour. sign. Okay. And then at the end of the closing, of course, they get their keys to their brand new Granite Ridge home, and we also give them a closing gift basket. Sounds exciting. Sounds enjoyable with you. Yeah. Yeah. You guys. Hey guys. Speaking of closings, uh, we got to close the show. Yeah, we do. As always, guys, we want to thank you for spending part of your day with us. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about who we are, what we do, and why we do what we do so well, please just pick up the phone, give us a call, visit the website below. Even better yet, just come in the front door. We'd love to help you get started on this easy and enjoyable process of building your custom home. Okay, so Gio, you said you got nine. Yes, so well, yes. Nine. You, got you got that one. I got this one. Got to be this guy. Right. All of these baskets, all right. and all right. I need two to go to Columbia okay. City. Okay. Right. Let's, let's go. Let's go. All right, and Warsaw. Okay. He's gonna take Warsaw. I hope you got good okay. tennis shoes. Yes, I gotta run. Thanks. Whenever you're thinking about building your dream home, walk through the front door. Give us a call on the phone. We'd love to sit down with you and help you build your fantastic custom dream home. I need your basket, Jill. Well, at the end, we'll get a closing basket as well. Thank Take you. that over to Jill. Ready, guys? Yes. Ready? Yes. Okay. So we're going. Wait, so Madam Gajo. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't know this was going on. Okay. Yay! Yay! People are also surprised that you can up, up. Hey Dave, we don't we can't afford this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dave, no pressure. No no pressure, but we can't afford this. Dave.